So if you remember back to last November when we had that really hard freeze come in, all of a sudden a lot of our trees and shrubs were really stressed and a lot of them looked like they weren't going to make it. Last spring we asked that you wait and give them some time to come back, give them some time to, to see what they're going to do. And over the winter these plants looked very brown and they looked like they were dead. But now with the, with the moisture that we got in the spring and the warm weather we've had this summer, we're starting to see some new growth coming on. One of those that we're seeing a lot of new growth coming on is our junipers. And so now is a good time to come in and start to clean up some of the dead parts of these plants. So we want to take out the brown parts, the dead parts, and cut some of this back to where the green is, where the new growth is coming on. We want to make sure that we're continuing to add lots of water. That's going to be the, one of the most important factors in helping them recover and continue to bring on this new growth. And winter watering is going to be even more important any time that it's above 40 degrees, the ground isn't frozen, and there's no snow, we can be watering these shrubs. Anytime after about middle of October or early next spring is be a good time to be applying fertilizer to these plants so that when they do begin their new growth again this next spring, they will be ready to take off and continue their recovery. This has been Caleb Carter from the University of Wyoming Extension from the ground up.